And now it's my honor to introduce my dear friend, the founder of Skillway, Du Tenen, and she's gonna share her business tip with us this morning. Hi everyone, good morning. I'm Du Tenen, the founder of Skillway, where we help you crush your sales goals and love what you do. And this is your Skillway business tip. We work with a lot of sales professionals and business owners all over the country who close business using a proposal. So just out of curiosity, how many of you use a proposal to close business? Can you raise your hand? Oh good, then I have a good audience here. So I have a second question for you. How many of you have ever felt like you had the perfect prospect in front of you? And you created that proposal and you emailed it to them and then you heard crickets. So what you do is you start going through the mental Olympics of trying to determine when you're gonna reach back out to them. Do I call them tomorrow? Do I call them next week? Do I go back to my sent items and reread the email that I sent him one more time and try and navigate what you're going to do with them? What ends up happening is you give yourself some false hope because I hate to break it to you, but that rarely happens. And when you are blindly emailing a proposal to somebody, you're really putting the fate of the agreement in their hands. And so what you end up doing is you are hoping that they get the email, they open it, they flip to page seven, and they say, oh my gosh, where have you been all my life? I've been waiting for you, and where do I sign? And quite frankly, that's not how it goes. At Skillway, we recommend that you set a meeting to review the proposal together long before you ever start creating the proposal. But we have a couple of questions that we commonly get asked on what do you do then if you're not going to just email the proposal? And the first question is, do, what do we do if we, they won't set a meeting with me and they insist on us sending the proposal? Well, that typically means that they're just shopping. What they want is a price. So instead, give them a range rather than just emailing the proposal and putting all of the hours into it. Another question we get is, what if they don't have a budget, or what if we haven't talked about budget? And so emailing the proposal is far easier than talking about price. Well, your prospect should never see anything on a proposal that is a surprise to them. In fact, you always want to make sure you're talking about price in one way or another, so do it during the discovery meeting. And then the third question is, all right, do, I'll do that, but how do I set that meeting before I go into it? And this is what you can say. I'm really excited that we met today, and after our meeting, I'm certain that what we're going to talk about next is exactly what you're looking for. It's gonna take me a couple days to create the proposal, so let's go ahead and look at our calendar next week when you and I can jump on a call together and review this together. What day works best for you? And when you do it that way, we know and we understand that sometimes practicing those things feels a little bit uncomfortable. But the more you practice it, the easier it gets. And I will tell you that setting yourself outside your comfort zone and having some uncomfortable conversations is a lot easier than giving yourself that false hope and keeping yourself in the maybes, waiting for your prospect to reach back out to you. So next time you're in a meeting, make sure that you set the proposal meeting before you create your proposal. And that is your Skillway business tip. Thank you.